lakini hakuna wageni kwa sababu eti hata yule mama alisimama nilimuona jana kwa wale ambaye wamesahau na jina langu naitwa mchungaji Peter Kimani na ninahubiri nikiwa nimeokoka amen praise the name of the lord nataka kuwaletea uchumbe ambaye Mungu ameweka ndani yangu ikiwa ni yetu sisi zote and the theme of today nimeita kwamba the battle is not yours but God's the battle is not yours but God's vita sio zako ni za Mungu amen bwana asifiwe sana unajua kuna wengi wanapitia katika vita mingi ya maisha amen and uh, wakati mama leo amesikwa hapa amehakikisha kwamba ya hii neno ambaye nataka kuileta kwako is divine word because he has quoted the one of the one of the one of the verses in the book of acts chapter number 16 from verses verses uh, 12 or verses 16 downwards amen bwana asifiwe na atukua na yeye wakati najitayarisha na jifungia hapa hali amen na simuhubiriagi kwanza ili atesti kama ya kwamba itakuja kutoka vizuri namwambia tu aniombe amen praise the lord hallelujah eh tutaanza na neno ambaye inasema katika Ephesians chapter 6 verses 12 the battle is not yours but God's vita sio zako ama sio zetu lakini vita ni za Mungu Biblia inasema for we struggle for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm bwana asifiwe kwa kiswahili inasema namna gani kwa kiswahili kwa maana kushindana kwetu sisi si juu ya damu na nyama bali ni juu ya falme na, mara, na, na mamlaka juu ya wakuu giza hili juu ya majeshi ya pepo wabaya katika ulimwengu wa roho bwana asifiwe kupigana kwetu sio ya mwili na damu hii tumesikia kwamba lakini ni juu ya majeshi ya pepo wabaya katika ulimwengu wa roho kuna mambo ambayo hatuwezi weza kupigana naye amen kwa sababu vita ya kiroho upigano bado na vita ya kiroho katika kiroho Haleluya. Na ndipoza nasema kwamba maana vita zetu all our struggle version nyingine husema for we wrestle wrestle ni kuikana miereka not against the flesh and blood but against the principalities against the powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against the spiritual weakness in the in the high praises juzi wiki mzima tumekuwa na na tunaongozwa na neno katika wako mambo ya nyakati wa pirini mstari wa ngapi wa tisa lakini mstari wa kwanza inasema ni wakati jehosopathi aliletwa aliletewa habari akaambiwa ya kwamba kuna majeshi inchi tatu wamekubaliana ya kwamba wakuje wamshike wampige wamalize jeshi la I mean inchi la Juda na Jerusalem Biblia inasema mstari wa tatu inasema but Joshua party resolved to inquire from the Lord amen Adam Joshua party resolved to inquire of the Lord and he proclaimed a fast of all judah ali proclaim ama alitangaza watu wafunge na waombe katika judah mzima 
Bwana asifiwe. Kwa sababu alijua hata kama wamesikia kwamba kuna mataifa wameungana pamoja. Wamesema ya kwamba eh, watakuja kumaliza Israeli ama Juda. Lakini alijua vita sio zake. Vita ni za Mungu. Inaweza kuwa unapitia katika vita kali na kuja kukueleza ya kwamba na kukumbusha ya kwamba vita sio zako vita zina mwenyewe waachia mwenyewe amen Deuteronomy 29:29 inasema ya kwamba eh, the secret things belong to the Lord but what has been revealed to us belongs to us and our children kwa hivyo yale ambaye haujui iko katika kiroho ni ya Mungu na wewe saidia Mungu kumsaidia ni kufanya kama Josephati you resolve to inquire from the Lord your God. Hallelujah. By praying and fasting. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, Deuteronomy 29:29. 29. The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things revealed belong to us and our children forever. That we may follow all the ones of this law. Kwa hivyo mambo ambayo iko katika sirini wacha wacha iwache kukusumbua. Ipatiane mwenyewe. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Na unapoipatia mwenyewe you just relax. Bwana asifiwe. Katika hiyo Second Chronicles chapter 20. Sasa verse is number 7. Second Chronicles chapter 20 and verse is number 7. Inasema hivi. Our God, did you not drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people? Anakumbu alipojifunga kuomba na kula i mean alipojifunga chakula na kuona na, ku, na kuomba akasema akaomba akaambia mungu mungu kumbuka did you not drive the inhabitants of this land before your people israel and gave it forever to the descendants of abraham your friend akapatiana akamwambia mungu ya kwamba kumbuka hii inchi ambayo tunataka kutolewa ulikuwa ulitufa, uli, ulitoa wale walikuwa na miliki hii hi nchi ili wa, ukapatiana kwa rafiki yako Abraham Bwana asifiwe katika James chapter 2 verse 23 James chapter 2 verse 23 pahari ambapo Je, Jacob alisema alitambua kwamba Abraham alikuwa a friend and uh, a friend to uh, a friend to God and the scripture was fulfilled that says Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness and he was called God's friend deposa Joseph Patu anasema pale mstari wa 7 anasema huyu alikuwa ni rafiki yako na ulipeana nchi hii ukatoa wale walikuwa wamemiliki and remember alikuwa ameahidi Abraham in Genesis 16:15 alikuwa ameahidi Abraham ya kwamba what your descendants watatoka katika nchi hii wataenda katika nchi ya utumwa amen hallelujah na katika nchi hii ya utumwa genesis 15:16 uh, the, the bible says in the fourth generation your descendants will come back here so alikuwa anamwambia kwamba watatoka katika nchi ya kanan lakini baada ya generation ya ine. hallelujah bwana asifiwe sana we thank God for wale wazazi wamekuwa hapa kina baba Susan wameona the second generation. First generation ni kina Juliet. Second generation ni kina Eliana. Amen. So, alikuwa amemwambia the fourth generation your descendants will come back here for the sins of the Amorites has not yet reached its full measure. Hii ni kumaanisha unapotenda dhambi inaanza kukua upore upore itakapo koma itakapo zeka amen haitagojo yende na akamutirima lakini uta, it, 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 inazaa kifo kwa sababu the bible says the, the sins of the amorites has not yet reached its full measure but after the fourth generation nadiposa mungu akasema mimi hasira zangu inaenda kizazi cha kwanza Hali changapi? Chaine. Na chaine is the, is the perishing generation. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm not there. 
But nikikota kuwa nataka kukumbusha kwamba Josephati alikumbusha Mungu. Akamwambia, "Siwe ulifukuza, ukafukuza wale walikuwa naishi katika nchi hii. Ukaondoa." Amen. Kwa sababu their sins ili, ilikuwa imekomaa, dhambi zao zilikuwa zimekomaa. Amen. Sasa mstari wa, wa tisa katika Second Chronicles chapter number 20 verse 9. Inasema namna gani? Akasema, hebu anzisha mstari wa 8 hili kwa wale ambao hawako na kuja wiki mzima. They have lived in it and have built it built in it a sanctuary for your name saying amen yani anakumbusha Mungu ya kwamba baada ya kutoa hawa watu katika nchi hii na sisi tukaja tukajenga hekaru amen so kwa sababu ya kujenga hekaru Mungu akumbuke hii ni kumaanisha ni vita alikuwa anataka kuipatiana kwa mwenyewe haleluya mstari wa tisa ikasema if calamity comes upon us whether the sword of judgment or plague or famine will stand in your presence before this temple that bears your name and will cry out to you, to you in our distress and you will hear and you will hear us and save us ilikuwa ni maagano walikuwa na maagano la king solomon alipotengeneza hekaru ya kwanza praise the name of the lord we may not go back so much there because hiyo nimekuwa nikifunza wiki mzima. Amen. Lakini nataka kusema ya kwamba sasa Josephate nakumbusha Mungu ya kwamba umesema na imeandikwa katika 2 Chronicles chapter 6 from verses uh, from verses um, I think 40 to 40 for, Okay, the right 2 Chronicles chapter 6 from verses 40. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Alikuwa namkumbusha imeandikwa ya kwamba tutakapopata jaa tutakapopata hukumu ama mpanga ama nini nyingine ama tauni tutasimama katika hekaro hii na ndipoza siku ya leo nimesimama katika hekaro hii madhabahu haya na kutangaza kwamba ni neno la Bwana limesema tutakaposimama katika hekaro hii tuwe tumepatwa na magonjwa He, tauni ni magonjwa kama covid magonjwa ina yote Jaa mnajua ni nini. Amen. Na upanga inaweza kuwa ni kifo. Hallelujah. Na judgment ni kama wakati huu Kenya iko katika hukumu. Amen. Lakini tunasimama katika madhabahu hii na tunasema ya kwamba there is a judge above the other judges. Ambaye alikata kesi za mani. Kenya is not in judgment. Praise the name of the Lord. And because we have prayed for that the whole week, leo tu tunashukuru. Hallelujah. Sasa neno linasema wakati Josephati amekumbusha Mungu haya mstari wa 12 anasema sisi hatuna nguvu lorote. We have no power, we have no strength. Our God will not we will not judge them for we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do but our eyes all upon you. Praise the name of the Lord. Ini kumanisha kasema kumonyesha kwamba this vast army he jeshi hodari amba inakuja katika nchi yetu. Amba imekuja kutuvamia. Sisi hatuna lorote la kufanya. Amen. Na sisi hatuna, jam, hatuna nguvu ya kupigana na wao. Lakini macho yetu sema macho yangu inakutazamia wewe. Na kama kinipo sema hivi Mungu aliweza kusikia. Praise the name of the Lord. Kabla ili turudi hapo tena. Hebu twende nami naye katika kitabu cha Exodus 14. Exodus 14. <coughs> Biblia inasema. Hebu turudi hapo nyuma kidogo. 9 8 Okay, eight. Hii ni wakati wana wa Israeli walipokuwa wanatoka Misri. Unajua kila mmoja anakuwa kuna Misri aliyopitia ama kuna Misri wapita. Amen. 
wakati Mungu alipowatoa wana wa Israeli katika Misri Biblia inasema ya kwamba walipokuwa na safiri katika desert katika eh, jangwani eh, verse is number 9 Okay the Egyptians all pharaoh's horses and chariots horsemen and troops pursued the Israelites Hebrew enda kwanza mstari wa sita. So he had his chariots made ready and took his army with him. Kuna kitu nataka kuelewa hapa. Rudi tena nyuma kidogo. Kama mstari wa 3, mnataka pahari ambapo wali 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 gairi. Start from 3. Okay, let's start four. So, Andika Exodus 14 from verses 4 to 13. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and he will pursue them. But I will gain glory for myself through Pharaoh and all his army. And the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. So the Israelites did this. Verses 5. When the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his officials changed their minds. Ebu Sema changed their mind. Wakabiodirisha mawazo yao. About them and said, What have we done? We have let the Israelites go and have lost their service. Ii ni kumanisha. Wakati tunapotoka misri. Amen. Wakati tunapotoka katika tabu wambaye pengine tunapitia. Kuna yare mapepo na nipoza tukasema tukasoma tuka katika Ephesians 6 verses 12. Ya kwamba sisi hatupigani na kwa mwili na damu. Amen. Wakati wambaye mungu juwe ya kwamba alikuwa mewaurusu wa toke. Alikuwa mewaokoa na mkono wa, wa ajabu. Praise the name of the Lord. Lakini wale ambayo walikuwa mawashika mateka miaka mia, mia ine na dhradhini wakati walijua ya kwamba wame, wame rost, wame ruzi wame, wame poteza service yao and that's the reason wakati umekuja hapa I always tell you people unapo kuja kanisani ulitoka pahali pengine unakuja na shijishikanisha na madhabahu haya kwa sababu Farao ambaye alikuwa amekushika nyara anaweza fanya nini proclaim you again. Atajua ya kwamba kwa kikuu asemaga ya kwamba era royale iria. Kwa Kiswahili ni kusema namna gani? Nigwe. Amen. Yaani ukitoka the value yako inajulikana wakati umeondoka. Did you get it right? Sasa kama pahari wambawa unatumikia, either ni huku gizani. Pa, wakati wataruzi we, wane ya kwamba siku hizi, eh, ile faida tulikuwa unapata ya chupa ya taska, zi, 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 kama taska inazishigi siku hizi. Amen. Ama ya mambo rikuwa natenda upande ile, wataanza kukremu we. Na ni vizuri kusema kwamba, nipoza nikasema vita tunewa pigana nazo, Sio zako, patia mwenye. Sinye alikuita. Sasa wakati ambapo wali, walitoka. Farao and his officials changed their minds about them and said, What have we done? We have let the Israelites go and have lost their services. Verses 6. So, he had his chariots made lady and took his army with him. Akatalisha wanajeshi ambani hodari wa misri. Nasio ya kwamba wakatalisha wa, 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 eh, He took 600 of the best chariots The best chariots, amen Hallelujah Along with all the other chariots of Egypt With the officers over them Of all of them Hebu ya kata verse 7 akiswahili Hallelujah Are you getting something? The battle does not belong to us Tupatie mwenye vita. Tena katoa magali mia sita ya liyo chaguliwa. Na magali yote wa misri na maakida juu ya magali hawa yote. Iri waende 
wamalize wana wa Israeli. Kwa hivyo kuna mapepo ambayo waandaliwa kwa sababu umetoka pari ambao ulikuwa unatumika unatumika. But my prayer for you today is that you are covered. Kuna maji ya maji ya shamu. Let us see itaona namna gani kwa Kiswahili. Maji ya bahari ya shamu shamu ambaye watakapokufuata wataingia ndani. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verses number 8 kwa Kiswahili. Na Bwana akaufanya mwa wake farao mfalme wa Misri kuwa mgumu. Naye akawafuata wana wa Israeli kwa sababu ya wana wa Israeli walitoka kwa ujeuri. Verses 9. Wa Misri wakafuata nyuma yao. Farasi zote na magari yote ya farao na askari zote wenye kupanda mafarasi na jeshi lake na wakampata wakawapata hali wamepanga pale karibu na bahari karibu na na pihi kukabiri balshafoni amen sasa maadui wako nyuma na wamefika mwisho wa, wa nini yao wa mwisho wa jia zao wamepata hakuna jia ingine So ni waamue tu either wakufe maji ama wakufe katika mishale. Amen. Na kwa sababu vita sio zao. Mstari wa turuke tena mstari wa 13. Biblia inasema Musa akawaambia watu, "Musiogope. Simameni tu. Amen. Mkaone wokovu wa Bwana atakaofanyia leo." Kwa maana wa Misri mliowaona leo hamtaona tena milele. Ili wana wa Israeli walikufa. Hawako sasa. Biblia inatunenea siku ya leo mimi na wewe. Ya kwamba tusiogope kwa maana vita ambayo tunapigana nazo Mungu atatupigania. Hata ni poza wakati Joshua Pate alipokuwa na anaomba Mungu. Akasema ya kwamba mi, eh, sisi hatuna nguvu hatuna uwezo hatuna chochote ambayo tunaweza kupigana na wale jeshi ni kama tu vile wana Israeli walikufikia misho biblia inasema walipofika pale wakasema kwamba sisi hatuna nguvu lakini macho yetu ya kutazamia they st- he stood still na kutazama Mungu na wakati walipotazama Mungu biblia inasema kwamba Mungu alipatikana Naye Musa akaambia wana wa Israeli just stand still musiogope musi maadui mnapowaona sasa hamtaona tena ninakutangazia siku ya leo maadui ambao unaona either iwe ni maadui ya dhambi maadui ya magonjwa ninatangaza ya kwamba just tazamia Bwana let your face just be look at the Lord and release yourself unto the Lord na magonjwa ambayo inakabiliana na wewe hautaiona tena mimi natangaza hivi hakuna magonjwa ya kinira ati ancestors ati kwa sababu babu yako alikuwa mgonjwa hii sukari na wewe lazima ugojeke hii tunakataa hii just stand still hallelujah ati kwa sababu babu yako alikuwa mlevi na wewe lazima ukue mlevi just stand still Patiana hiyo vita ni ya Bwana. Wewe kazi yako ni kumtumikia Bwana. Moses akasema ya kwamba just stand still. Hallelujah. Wakati Joshua pati. Turudi katika Second Chronicles 20. Mstari wa 15. 20 verses 15. Sema. Hebu tuanze mstari wa 14 tuseme nani alisema hii. Ikawa baada baadaye wana wa Moabu na wana wa Amoni na pamoja nao wakasimama Yuda wote mbele za Bwana pamoja na wadogo wao na wake zao na watoto wao Imagine Waisraeli ukitazama mara nyingi katika Biblia waongeaji juu ya mama Amen lakini hapa Juda, I mean Joseph Pati, alitangaza kila mmoja watoto na wamama na wazee 
Amen. Wakasimama yuda wote bere za bwana pamoja na wadogo wao na wake zao na watoto wao the 14 Dipa ya zeri mwana wa Zakaria mwana wa Benaya mwana wa Yeri mwana wa Mathania mlawi wa wana wa Asafu akaajiliwa na roho akaajiliwa na roho akaajiliwa na roho yani roho akamjia roho wa bwana akamjia then I never it and the descendants of Asaph. Just give it in English, I'll translate. Then the Spirit of the Lord came to Jeh uh, on Jeh Jehazel, son of Zachariah, son of Baniah, the son of Jeel, the son of Matania, a Revite, a descend and a descendants of Asaph. And he stood in the assembly, 15. He said, This is where we are. Risen King Joshua Patu. Sasa mungu wa metumana. Bada ya Joshua Patu mwakuomba. Amen. Na bada kusema kwa mba macho yake na ya wana ayuda. Ya na mtazamia bwana. Praise the name of the Lord. Sasa mungu wa katumana. Si mungu wa kutumanie. Na mungu wa mekutumanie ndipoza niko hapa. Hallelujah. Akasema King Joshua Patu and all who live in Judah. And Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid. Amen. Usio gope. Ninini him ze dada inakutisha. Usio gope. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army. For the battle is not yours, but the battle belongs to God. Usio gope. Alijua ya kwamba. Aliona alisikia wazazi wake wakale pale katika maji ya shamu Moses aliwambia msiogope msimame imara na huyu Mungu wa gari the bible says that he is alpha and omega yeye ndio jana hata leo na kesho amen na alivyo tenda jana anaweza tenda leo he is not a respect of one person praise the name of the lord akasema msiogope Sima meni tu mukaona wakovu wa bwana. Amen. Alirudia tena pale mstari wa 15 katika Second Chronicles 20. Anaambia Josephati, "Msiogope kwa sababu vita ni za bwana." Hallelujah. Vita gani dana na dugu mnapitia? Ni vita gani ambayo una, unaona ni kama mlima? Hallelujah. Hii mlima yoyote ambayo unaona mbele zako, patia mwenyewe. It belongs to him. Hallelujah. Kwa ni vita sienu, bari ni ya mungu, msari wa kumina saba, ama kumina sita, ili tuende kumina saba. Msari wa kumina sita, inasema, kesho, ati siku gani? Na situ nasema sasa, leo. Sahi, shukeni juu ya wawo, tazameni. Amen. Yare mirima ambayo mekua kikusumbua, sasa itazame. Hallelujah. Wanakwea kwa, kwa, kwa kupandia, ku, kupandia sisi nanyi mtawapa, mtawapata penye mwisho wa bonde. Bele za jangwa ya Yelueri. Ebu 2017. NIV. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, you will not have to fight this battle. Hii mnasikia vizuri. You are not going to fight this battle. Utakapo tazamia bwana na umpe mizigo yote. You will not have to fight this battle. Hallelujah. Take up your position. You just take up your position. Your position ni kujipeana kwa bwana. Mimi ni naamini huyu mungu ambaye unapo muita na kusikia. Naamini huyu mungu ambaye unapo muita Ana masikio. Bibiro sema katika 1 John 4, 5, 1 John 5, 13, 14, 15. The confidence we have in approaching our God is that our God, in approaching God, is that if we seek anything according to his will, he hears us. The confidence we have. Yare, 
ujasiri tuko naye na Mungu huyu ambaye tunawabudu ni kwa maana Mungu wetu nasikio sikio yake sio kizimi mkono wake anasemaga kwamba sio mfupi ni mrefu anaweza bariki anasikia lakini lazima tujiondolee mawa we must be righteous before him so that as you call upon him hallelujah atatusikia unajua kuna wakati yakobo alimenyana na bwana na akasema mimi sikuachi siwaachili wewe hadi utakaponibariki na biblia inasema mungu akamuliza kwa sababu kwa nini alikuwa anataka kataa kumbariki kwa sababu jina lake lilipitree ye. amen haleluya akaulizwa anaitwa nani anaitwa yakobo yakobo meant ya conman so akamwambia utageuzo jina ili nibariki wewe haleluya na alipogeuzio jina akaitwa israeli mungu akambariki praise the name of the lord sasa tunaambia just take up your position just take up your position hamuhitaji kupigana vita hii jipangeni simama mkaona wokovu wa bwana ulio pamoja nanyi enyi yuda na yerusalem musiogope mwana msifadhaike msifadhaike kesho tokeni juu yao kwa kuwa bwana yu pamoja nanyi what does this one mean you confront the demons the enemies by the word of god by prayers and supplication praise the name of the lord nikujipeana tu kwa bwana umwambia kwamba hii jambo imenisumbua na sasa tuliambiwa ya kwamba tulihubiria kwamba vita sio yangu haleluya hata kama ni poverty the bible says that silver and gold belongs to him amen even if he's racking anything that you need before god ye ni mwingi wa rehema topati akaambiwa akaja akaambiwa sasa msi amtapigana hii vita do you know what he did in verse 18 alianza kupanga watu waibaji amen kwanza wali 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 lala chini kifundi fundi waka Sima, waka, simamisha neno la Bwana wakamliria Bwana jambo la pili akapanga walawi wana wa, wa, wa kohadhi na wana wa, wa korahi wakasimama ili wamsifu Bwana Mungu wa Israeli kwa sauti kuu sana haleluya walipoomba warudi wakamsifu Bwana kumsifu kwao kumbuka ya kwamba wale maadui wako jiani wanakuja amen wako mbali wanakuja lakini naye hawa ni kuiba wanasifu wana bwana wengine wamepiga magoti waliambiwa take up your position you may not be a good singer but you are a good worshiper haleluya unajua kuita baba yako unajua sio kwa kumuita kwa maneno mengi ndio anasikiaga haleluya hata Yesu wakati alipokuwa katika Jethsemane Mrima Mount Olive alinama akasema aliomba maombi machache sana akasema your will be done akaulizi akaanzisha kusema kikombe hiki na kiniondoke amen but your will mapenzi yako yatimizike mapenzi ya Mungu ilitimizika ilipotimizika Biblia inasema kwamba katika Ruk chapter 22 verse 43 nasema akatuma maraika wakampe, wakampa nguvu amen so it doesn't mean ya kwamba lazima waambe maombi marefu amen maraika kutoka mbinguni akamtokea akamtia nguvu haleluya mungu akupee nguvu may the lord strengthen you may the lord make you be a victorious katika jina la yesu josopati walipokuwa anaanza kuabudu Biblia inasema pale katika mlima wa pari ya Amoni kwa na Amoni na wasei na the, the, the Ammonites and whom and the Edomites walipokuwa pale walikuwa kabila tatu walianza kugeukana amen wakaamka asubuhi na mapema wakaenda nje katika jangwa 
la kutokea na walipokuwa wakitoka wakitoka Yosefati akasimama akasema nisikieni enyi Yuda nanyi wenyeji wa Yerusalemu muamini bwana Mungu wenu ndio mtakayowadhibitika waamini waaminini manabii wake ndivyo mtakavyofanikiwa today i'm your prophet i'm prophesying to you any difficulties that is has been troubling you it must move away from you nasema hivi kila shida ambayo imekabiliana na wewe mizigo na mapepo yote ambayo imesikabiliana na wewe lazima inukiane kama joseph pat aliposema hivyo biblia inasema kampi ya adui waligeukana ninatangaza siku ya leo kampi ya adui yako waanze kugeukana wanaweza kuwa wamepangana mara saba wanaweza kuwa wameshikana mara saba haijalishi ni grupu ya watu ngapi haijalishi maadui wameungana wangapi lakini siku ya leo ninatabiri kwako siku ya leo ya kwamba hawa maadui wageukane na anapomalizana watakaobakia waya ni wadugu moja na wamalizane katika jina la Yesu it is the word of god that has been declared that biblia inasema katika mitendo ya mitume 16 wakati paul na silas walipokuwa wakienenda mkuhubiri kila siku jioni walikuwa wanaenda maombezi pahali kwa mlima biblia inasema in the book of acts chapter 16 ya kwamba walipokuwa akienda kila wakati kulikuwa na diviner mama alikuwa na divination spirit alikuwa akamsichana kameajiliwa na matajiri wengine ili kaya kanawaambia kwamba the, the fortune teller praise the name of the lord haleluya na biblia inasema walipokuwa naenda kila siku paulo akasumbuka sana haleluya akasumbuka sana katika mawazo Paulo akitokea akatokea na maono. Hapana twende verses. Endelea mbele. Haleluya, haleluya, haleluya. Verses 14. Mwanamke mmoja jina lake Lydia mwenye kuuza la Mwenye kuuza rangi za, za, za balau. Mwenyeji wa Thyatira, mcha Mungu akatusikiliza ambaye moyo wake ulifunguliwa na na Bwana atunze maneno yaliyonenwa ya na Paulo hebu tena na bena nataka pahari Paulo alikasirishwa na yule msichana is verse 16 i think try 16 please make it in NIV once when we were going to the press this is acts chapter 16 verse 16 to the place of prayer we were met by a female slave who had a spirit by which she predicted the future she earned a great deal of money for her owners by fortune telling fortune tellers she followed paul and the rest of us shouting these men are the servants of the most high god you who are telling you the way to be saved unajua the spirit of divination sijui kwa kwa Kiswahili inaitwa namna gani roho ya waguzi inajuanga 100% yale ulikula asubuhi amen but the spirit of god speaks in parables so ukitaka ku judge the spirit of divination and the spirit of god itakwambia kwamba ulikula uliamka asubuhi ukakula kitu fulani na ukakunywa kitu fulani that's the spirit of divination amen it was there even during the time of samuel during the time of saul amen sasa huyu msichana alikuwa ameajiriwa na 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 na, na wa, their masters ili awe anaambia the, he was she was a fortune teller and they were making a lot of money na unajua the problems of brethren lakini sio nyinyi amen nikutaka sana kupletea unabii nikutaka sana kusikia kwamba Mungu anasema namna gani na sio Mungu ni miungu 
May the Lord deliver us from that. May God give us the spirit of discernment to discern between the bad and the, the evil and the good. In the name of Jesus. Natangaza watu ambaye wananinahubiria. Na wale ambaye wananifuata. Hawata danganyika na hiyo roho. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Na kama kuna moja watu meongoa ye. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Paulo akasuburio na hii mama sana hiyo roho. Akaona ya kwamba led to deliver her. Akasema she kept this up for many days. Finally Paul became so annoyed. Aka kasirika, aka ile hasira ya kiro. That he turned aloud and said to the spirit, In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. At that moment, the spirit left her. Praise the name of the Lord. Sasa haa watu wakajua wameru sasa. Wakapanga jama. Usome kutoka hapa utaendelea. Wakapanga jama. Wakashika Paul na Cyrus. Wakaeko ndani. Wakapigwa katika market. Kwa sababu ya kukomboa mstana ambaya likuwa metuwa tormented. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Na wakati walifanya hivo. Waka apreka gerezani. Mstari wa ishina tano. Tuende mstari wa ishina tano. About me that I'm going to do through 24 Kwanza. When he received these orders, he put them in the inner cells and fastened them, their feet in the stocks. Walipo shikwa kwa sababu waliwapiga baada ya kuwapiga wakapereka gerezani. Waka the jera akawa ordered. Mwafunge migu. Mwafunge katika migu zao na mikono zao. Na muafunge jera ya ndani. Amen. Na, when he received these orders, he put them in the inner cells and fastened their feet in the stock. Amen. Ujue ya kwamba ni watu ya mungu. Na ni jambo mzuri wa likuwa mefanya. Hallelujah. Na dipo watu ya sema, the battle does not belong to you. Unajua wano wa Israeli pare mwanzo. Bibile na sema, katika ile pari Exodus 14. Aliambia Moses, ambia wana wa Israeli, waanze kwenda as if they are, uh, they are scattering, as if they are weathering in the desert. Iri ati farawa napo haona, ajiseme wakamba wanapotea, ageuze moyo wake. Amen. Iri mungu ajitukuze. Mambo zingine tunapitia. Pengine mungu wamekuachilia, iri ajitukuze. Si mungu ajitukuze kwa yale ambaye amefanya. Katika jina la Yesu. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sasa pori na Cyrus. Bibirei nasema, walipo teko ndani, wakafungo ndani. Badae, tuenda katika pari tulitoka. Si usiku. Sasa wamefungo migu. Wamefungo mikono. You can imagine. Bonus fibe. But, lakini panapo usiku, wama nane. Paul na Cyrus. Walikuwa waki muomba mungu na kumuimbia nyimbo za kumsifu. They were just praying and they were worshiping God. Na, wafungwa wengine walikuwa wakiwasikiriza. Hallelujah. Walitumwa pale kwa sababu ya wafungwa wengine. Amen. Hii safari ya kwa na binguni ni mzitu na ni defu. Amen. Na razima tulipitie kama Yesu alipitia kwani sisi ni nani lakini tunatuambia vita sio zako vita ni za Bwana haleluya vita ni za Bwana walipokuwa na wengine wanasikiza biblia inasema ghafra pakawa tetemeko la ku, ku la inchi hata msingi wa gereza ikatisika Na mara hiyo mirango ikafunguka fungo vya wote wa vikalegezwa. Oh God, hallelujah. Niko na imani siku ya leo. Mafungo aina yoyote. Haijalishi ni mafungo aina gani. You know, unaweza kuwa katika prison, jera ya dhambi, jera ya magonjwa, jera ya kila aina. Na wale ambao walikuwa pale 
Walisikia Paul na Silas wakiomba na wakimba. Wakimsifu Bwana. Naye Mungu alipokuja hakukuja tu kwa sababu ya Paul na Silas. Alikuja kwa sababu ya wote. Si Mungu akuja kwa sababu ya sisi zote. Katika jina la Yesu. Ni nini mafungu ambayo imekufunga? Ni nini umejaribu kupigana kujifungua? Imekataa. Si Mungu aifungue siku ya leo. Katika jina la Yesu. Minyororo aina zote ninaitangazia siku ya leo. I believe I'm in the spirit ya kwamba Paul na Silas walipokuwa naomba alisema hizi minyororo tumefungwa nazo miguu na mikono hata wale wengine wamefungwa nazo zifkatike. Praise the name of the Lord. Nami ninatangaza mchana wa leo ya kwamba kila minyororo ambaye zimekufunga ziwe ni minyororo ya kutoendelea minyororo ya kuokoka leo na kesho na kuanguka hizo ndizo natangazia zifunguke kama vile Paul na Saida walikemea msichana ambaye alikuwa diviner akasema katika jina la Yesu in the name of the powerful name of Jesus release that chain and those demons katika jina la Yesu tusimame kwa miguu zetu haleluya Biblia inasema katika Isaya 52:1 ya kwamba ujiondoe katika minyororo ambayo imekufunga ime you have to shake away shake off your dust oh god oh god the dust ni matope ambayo umetupiwa na watu shake off your dust Rise up. Sit and throne Jerusalem. Free yourself from the chains on your neck. Dot of Zion now a captive. Matope ambayo umetupiwa. Maneno ambayo umetupiwa. Kivumbi ambayo umetupiwa. Minyororo ambayo imekufunga. Shake off yourself and release yourself from that captivity. Maybe it's captivity of ancestral sicknesses captivity of, of ancestral curses may the lord now make you shake up that dust in jesus name ninatangaza mchana wa leo ya kwamba kila vumbi kila matope na minyororo ambayo tumefungwa minyororo ya dhambi minyororo ya kila aina Minyororo ya kukosa, minyororo ya kurudi nyuma, minyororo ya box riding, every chain, every chain, every chain, every chain, ripokota ya mazeka, rekata yando bozaya, rekata yanda mayanda, rimazekete ribazaya, in the name of Jesus, I rose every powers of darkness that has been chaining you maneno rio nenewa ya kwamba hautafauru ninatangaza siku ya leo hiyo maneno nina retreat back to the sender in the name of jesus and i took it to the sender taking it to the ambed in the name of jesus receive your deliverance today receive the power to stand up again to stand up again kila ngome ambayo imekusumbua kila vita umepigana na vita wakati mrefu vita watoto wako vita ya bwana yako vita ya mke wako vita wazazi vita ya majirani ninatangaza siku ya leo ninatangaza siku ya leo kila vita Kira vita I release the fire I release the fire the fire of the holy ghost the fire of the altar of god may it burn may you be disconnected today with every moral rust immoral things in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu watoto wako akombolewe wazazi wako akombolewe wewe ukombolewe katika jina la Yesu natangaza kila kiu kila kiu ya dhambi 
every vast of sin. I command it now. Kunywa maji masavi ya Bwana. May you take now the blood of Jesus that shall sanctify you, that shall sanctify you, and shall deliver you in the name of Jesus. Makata yando bozeka, shakarabaganda, ribabori bazaya, in the name of the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. There is power to deliver. There is that anointing to deliver. May you be delivered from far. Ukiwa bali, ukiwa karibu, na tangaze ya kwamba, ukombo lewe, minyororo urio fungwa nae, bona sairas, wali fungwa na zejera, rakini buwana, urilete mtingizo ya ardhi, may now the ardhi quick, which is one of the weapon, the weapon of the righteous, I take the ardhi quick as a weapon, May it shake now. Shake every sin. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Kuraya Ramayande. Reketeri Mazeria. Rekayante Rabazaya. Kurikanta Rabayanda. In the name of the Lord. Ripokotaya Mazaye. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver yourself. Deliver yourself now. Za shaking it down. Eating is this a sasa. Kira mbae me ngoime ime kolea. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Natangaza sikia leo. Chochote mbae ime kolea. Ime toka from generation to generation. Ime ingia kwako. Nina itangazia leo. Kwamba kwanzia sasa. Kwanzia sasa. Hiyo minyororo. Ikatike, ikatike, natumia siraha, yadamia, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, as a weapon, as a weapon, I now call a breed, the blood of Jesus, my God, my God, ninaona watu akiwa wakikombolewa, ninaona mambo magumu, ya kitoka nyuma zingine, Katika jina la Yesu, katika jina la Yesu, in the name of Jesus, katika jina la Yesu, natangaza leo, kira ngome, kira ngome, amba imekua cemented, natuma maraika, atingize sasa, atingize, shake up now, shake up now, shake every, every stronghold, in the mighty name of Jesus, katika jina la Yesu, tangazia ngome ya kwako, tangazia chochote, ama imekwe ikirete subuvu, katika maisha yako, bona asema hivi, kira ngome, ana iondoa, yeye vita siyo zako, vita ni zake, vita ni zake, iwe ni ngome ya uchawi, iwe ni ngome ya ufrishina, Iwe ni ngome ya Antichrist Ata uraguzi Katika jina la Yesu Na itangazia Haina nguvu sasa I powerless now now Nina ifanya kuwa pare Nina ingoa Nina ingoa Na kuitupa kuzimu Katika jina la Yesu In the name of Jesus Christ Receive honor God Receive adoration my redeemer in the mighty name of Jesus, natangaze ya kwamba, waze wetu watapotea, wake wetu watapotea, wana wetu watapotea, katika jina la yesu, wazazi wetu watapotea, Lord Register, this sacrifice on this altar, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, register now, register now, Pauru Nasira walienda gerezani kwa sababu walio kuwa mefungwa kwa sababu ya familia wa tejera na bibiria inasema tejera alio koka alina mia pauru Nasira haka muambia saa nina tangazia mapepo ama imekua ikikuinukia ikupigie magoti na ikuambia yes madam ikuambia yes saa 
kwa sababu lazima iname ninaitangazia iname iname natangaza iname iname katika jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus Christ oh my god my god ninaona misingi zingine zikitingizishwa sasa ni kuzingoa ni kuzingoa ni kuzingoa rima in the name of Jesus Oh God, oh God, oh God. My Lord, my Lord. Oh God. It doesn't matter. Haidalishi. Hiyo ngome ilipandwa kwenu wakati mgani. Cha tatu, cha pili, cha kwanza. Ya kwamba hiyo gome hiyo pando kwako kama Paul na Sira walipoabudu Bwana walipomwomba Bwana the jera ambaye alikuwa anamwaita maabusu alimwainamia na kusema what can we do sir to be born again natangazia hayo ambayo walikuwa wamekusumbua maadui zako mapepo ambayo zimekuangamiza May they come and bow before you. I can see them bowing before you and calling you. Yes sir. Yes madam. What can I do? Oh my god. Rikere mazeria. Remo zeke tarabaganda. Makuri kantarabazaya. Ripo kotaya mayanda. Oh Jesus. I shake every dust in my family. I shake every dust in your family. I shake every dust in your extended family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kutoka siku ya leo, zile minyororo zimefunganisha wewe na magonjwa. Zimefunganisha wewe na dhambi. Na zikuwa makasi ya roho. Na chukua panga. Na chukua shoka kwa maana katika gara ya Mungu Biblia inasema katika Jeremaya ya kwamba katika gara ya Mungu kuna siraha mingi nachukua yote makasi inaposhindwa panga itafanya ukatao kuiri panga inaposhindwa nachukua shoka na kata kata kila minyororo kila minyororo ya kuridisha kurudi kwa shetani katika jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus na kama umeketi simama sasa kama umeketi simama sasa Bwana wa rehema na Mungu ishie tumekubaliana siku ya leo ya kwamba vita ambayo watu wako wamekuwa kipambana naye hawatapambana naye tena they are going to stand still and their eyes look upon you and he shall save them now in the name of jesus you demonstrated this by paul and sira walifungwa mikono ili wasijulizie walifungwa miguu ili wasipotee lakini bwana pale wakasahau na kufunga mdomo na mawazo na neno inasema walipoomba minyororo ikakatika milango ya jela ikafunguka sasa katika jina la Yesu kila jera kila gereza ambaye shetani amekuweka pale Paul na Silas walikuwa watumishwa Bwana lakini shetani akaweka ndani ninatangaza siku ya leo kila minyororo na gereza shetani amekuweka ndani ameweka watoto wako ndani ameweka Bwana yako ndani ameweka mke wako ndani wazazi ndani Natangaza siku ya leo kupitia waburu na kuwa, na kuabudu hapa na maombezi ya siku ya leo natangaza ya kwamba hizo minyororo na ikatike 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 sasa mfalme wa ajabu na kushukuru kwa maana minyororo zimekatika mirango imefungwa natangazia mirango natangazia mirango I exercise the power of authority.
take in the spiritual weapon, the weapon of the earthquake, in the name of the Lord. Send an earthquake now. Shake the door. Remove the hinges. And let's set your people free. I decree and declare today, you are free. You are free. Free from any tribulation. Shukuru bwana sasa. Ambia bwana ni asanti. Kwa sababu minya roi mekatwa. Mafungo lote zimekatwa. Na mirango mefunguliwa. Katika jina la yesu. Inua mikono yako shukuru bwana. Ambia bwana ni asanti. such a wonderful God. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Asanti kwa kufungua mirango ambaye watu wako alifungiwa. Asanti kwa sababu umekata kira minyororo. And we have shaken out our, the dust that has been on us. We are now free. Now, dear Father, let your Holy Spirit Come down and hover us. And hover us, Lord. And hover us, our Lord. The Bible says that when you shall ascend, you shall send the Holy Spirit to us to be our counselor. Now, dear Father, Hatuezi Kustahimiri Masjaribi Adunia intervene allow us yourself allow us to have our God hallelujah oh Jesus oh Jesus allow us to have our Lord In the name of Jesus. Bwana alehema hata minyororo ya magonjwa umeyakata. Umeyakata nisha. Minyororo ya magonjwa no more again. Minyororo ya rana wengine tunapitia katika mambo magumu kwa sababu ya misemo na maovu uliotendwa na mababu zetu hizo minyororo bwana umekubali kuyaondoa milango iliyofungwa mbele zetu bwana umeenenda mbele zetu i you know the lord who decrees and declares 
in Isaiah 43, 1, that you know us by our names. You have delivered us, O God, and you declare that we belong to you. O oh God, we thank you. We thank you. Sisi ni wako bwana. Bwana tusaidie. Tusitolewa na dhambi katika uwepo wako. In the name of Jesus. Tukiwa katika hiyo hali ya that presence ya Roho Mtakatifu. <coughs> Inaweza kuwa uko hapa unasema ya kwamba ningependa kurejea bwana kwa njia ya kuokoka. Hizo minyororo za dhambi Mungu amezikata. Are you there? Ningesema ya kwamba mchungaji nasikia kwamba hii vita nimepigana naye mara mingi na siku mingi ya dhambi mimi siwezi peke yangu kama uko hapo ninulie mkono wako ningependa kurejea bwana kwa njia ya kuokoka just shoot your hands high before god in the name of jesus in the name of jesus uko hapa umekuwa ukijiuliza hii vita inatoka hapa ina inatoka kitchen inanikuta bedroom inatoka bedroom inanikuta sitting inatoka huko inanikuta hata katika kazini umepambana na vita mara mingi i know you are there na you are mko wengi by the show of your hands i want to pray for you wherever you are hata vita zingine za kiroho vita ya kusumbuliwa na ndoto vita ya kutorara usiku vyema <coughs> vita ya kuona waliokufa zamani just for the show of your hands just raise your hands high everlasting father neno lako lasema ya kwamba macho yako yatakubali kuwa katika ya karo hii sasa katika jina la Yesu kwa sababu macho yako iko katika hekalo hii tazama mikono ambayo zimeinuliwa ninaomba katika jina la Yesu uyatazame na jicho la huruma i declare to them o oh god by the anointing and the power that you have given upon me i declare to them by the name of the lord jesus and by the blood of jesus i pleaded the blood of jesus to them that it is well with them it is well hiyo <coughs> vita kutoka leo tumeipatia na mikononi mwako vita ya kiroho vita ya watoto vita ya familia vita ya kifedha vita ina yote ambayo imewakilishwa na hizi mikono katika kanisa mzima na nani nitazama katika Facebook na YouTube. Hiyo vita katika jina la Yesu. Naitangazia ya kwamba from today come to a end. Come to a end. Hiyo vita Bwana wapiganie. Uliambia Josephati ya kwamba vita sio zao, vita ni zako. Wewe ni jemedari wa majemedari. Oh God, fight for them today. Fight for them today. Fight for them today. Oh God. Let them feel in their spirit. Something is happening in their life. In the name of Jesus. Be set free now. Be set free now. Katika jina la Yesu, natangaza kuwa free. We set you free from any tormentation, any nightmares evil dreams dreams of the ancestors dreams of the evil things or even spiritual husbands spiritual wives i command it in the name of jesus christ seize and go in the name of jesus christ i declare the goodness and the of, of the lord katika jina la yesu natangaza ya kwamba kutoka leo your mighty spirit has been set free Whatever that you have been passing through you have been passing but not sitting you have been passing but not sleeping and at long last today 
this is the day. This is the day. And this is the hour. And this is the minute that I declare to you that you are set free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu. Natangazia kanisa mzima. Mungu wa bariki. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord adjust this sacrifice that has been given on this altar. The way the men and women of Israel, they brought the sacrifice on the altar during the time of Moses, during the time of uh, Solomon. And Lord, you declare to them that they are blessed. Father, I declare to them they are blessed of you. In the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, my prayer for the church, oh God, niakwamba mungu abaliki, aweke, awelejeshe, katika hali yake, awainuwe katika marizote, awape tofauti between you and the wicked people. Kutoka leo, may the Lord fight your battle. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, I shout Amen. Amen, 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 amen.